Hello, friends and family, and welcome to the Tuesday, October 20th um, edition of our Boring Meditation Stuff. We've been talking about truth, and up until now, internal truth, so kind of being honest with ourselves. Today, I wanted to talk about external truth. Um, I thought that it was funny in my Hindi class... <laughs> <laughs> we still we still usually work with Hindi sentences in terms of translations to English, and sometimes that's very difficult, and um, it's for reasons of grammar and reasons of meaning. But um, one of the things that my Hindi teacher said was that it's very easy to be vague in Hindi. Um, that Hindi gives you this sort of flexibility where you can say things without really saying anything. Um, and leaving it up to the interpretation of the listener or the tone of your voice or something else. And I mean, of course, this is also possible in English, but um, Hindi gives you some specific special tools <laughs> for vagueness. Um, and I think that uh, employing this sort of language is in some ways uh, a consequence of the era um, I even remember myself, back when I lived in Chicago, I remember having kind of a philosophical debate with a friend. And my side of the philosophical debate relied on this idea that we're all telling lies all the time anyway. And the moment you open your mouth, you tell a lie um, to some degree. And so why bother with the truth? And um, I see now what a flawed argument that was. <laughs> um, if the premise is that uh, you can't open your mouth without telling a lie, even a tiny lie, then the premise has baked into it this idea that there are different degrees of lies. And it doesn't hold that just because everything we say is a tiny lie, um, we need to take it to the extreme and be lying in gross, coarse-grained uh, measure all the time. Um, and I don't think that's exactly what I was arguing for, but I mean, it was a ludicrous argument anyway. Um, the value of telling the truth or trying your hardest to tell the truth um, comes kind of in proportion to how much truth you're telling. So if the truth that you are trying to tell is... Um, you're trying very hard to be clear and direct and as honest as possible on the surface and to yourself every aspect of that conversation or uh, written word that you're conveying is imbued with honesty you're practicing honesty and you are you're getting some time <laughs> with honesty um, conversely if you spend time being subtle, being nuanced in these, um, you know, vague, ambiguous kinds of ways, um, that's, these are small lies, thin lies. You're practicing peppering lies into your conversation, right? And if you go so far as just to tell blatant, outright lies, then you are going so far as to practice that. You're imbuing dishonesty into yourself. You are teaching yourself the depths of dishonesty, and that becomes your kind of natural tendency then. Um, and the, the value of all of this with respect to meditation is kind of uh, lives on the same spectrum, in the same field. Sorry, it's my alarm to go meditate, so I'm going to go do that in a minute. <laughs> but um, you can tell yourself tiny lies within the scope of meditation. You can tell yourself huge, kind of monstrous lies <laughs> within the scope of your meditation. And yes, even just about something as subtle as the breath, you can lie to yourself about um, what you're feeling, the sensation of the breath, 
what is it? Um, how, how sharp is my attention? How balanced is my equanimity? And these things affect one another. So as you practice honesty out in the real world, you get better at honesty and meditation. As you practice honesty and meditation, so you get better with honesty out in the real world and the reverse. So if you're lying under all circumstances, whether they are, um, you know, sort of thin, wispy, gossamer lies or whether they're big, clumpy lies, <laughs> um, you'll find yourself having difficulty with honesty in the other sphere, internal and external. Um, and so... I think that in that respect, um, the tools your language gives you to be vague or dishonest in subtle ways, to hide truths, um, that it is valuable to step back from those things. No matter what language you speak, there are always tools to be clear, direct, and honest with other people. And we should lean on those tools because every honest word that we speak is, um, it is good practice in honesty. Um, I hope that everyone is taking good care of themselves, which means being honest with yourself, even about that fact, <laughs> and taking good care of everyone around you, uh, which means being honest with them. Um, and uh, tomorrow we will be uh, discussing honesty in government. <laughs> All right. Take care. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Goodbye.